that we're going to talk about is drill and blast quality controls. So we have, we have tools that you can use to design the drilling and blasting and optimize it. Um, but then we also have a lot of tools that you can use to uh, measure it, measure the performance, measure the, the quality control. And those are the things I'm going to show now. So the first one of these is a floor control module. Um, and this, what this does is it lets you look at how even the floors are. So you can, you can set an elevation or you can set a, uh, uh, kind of a, a design uh, profile for the floor that you, that you are targeting, or you can even set a previous uh, drone flight to be the, the reference surface. And you can basically look at the deviation between that. So, uh, you can either just look at, you know, how uneven is it, uh, in total, just from an elevation point of view, how bumpy is it? You can look at how much has it changed since last week and where has it changed since last week? Um, or you can look at, you know, how far off are we from our, uh, our design surface, if it's something like a ramp. And then the other thing that it can do is, uh, if you are using this with the, uh, the design, the drill and blast design, um, functionality as well, or even if you just want to upload all of the, uh, all of the drill holes, every time you do a design, uh, you can use it to then check which blasts and even specifically which holes might've caused that, that floor issue. So it will overlay all of the holes over the, uh, over the, the area that you're looking at. And you can use that to see, you know, is it, are we getting a lot of issues, you know, on the edges between shots? Are we getting a lot of issues? Yeah. Around the, uh, around the centers of shots, or is it just one particular shot, which, which caused an issue? The next thing that we have on the, uh, drill and blast quality control side is, is really specifically on drilling quality control. So we have AI that can detect the hole collars and then automatically compare that to the design. So, uh, if you upload the design hole locations and then fly the drone over the top, as long as you've got survey control, like, you know, RTK, PPK drone, or you're using ground control points, then what you can do is, is just, uh, you just fly the drone over the area and it'll automatically detect all of the hole collars and it will automatically, uh, compare those and find the deviation between those and the design locations and generate the report for you. So you can get a, you know, histogram of the deviation you can get, um, is it, there's a, there's a bigger report that has all of the, uh, the deviations for each hole, uh, as well as some summary statistics as well. So you can, you know, with only, you know, a few clicks, get the, uh, a measure of your, your drilling accuracy essentially. And the final thing is using AI to detect, uh, detect rock edges and then create a fragmentation particle size distribution. So this is measuring the, the outcomes of your blasting, um, really just using that, uh, the, the full power of AI here to detect, to detect the rocks and then calculate the particle size distribution. So what you'll get is, uh, what you'll do is you just fly the drone over the muck pile, you'll upload it and it'll come back with all of these already detected. There's no manual work that you have to do. And, uh, one of the biggest advantages of this is that, uh, if you do have the design information in there as well, there's actually more AI in there, which will, which will take the, the design and it will take the, the measured, uh, outcomes of that fragmentation. And it will start to learn, um, about, uh, how your design parameters impact the fragmentation output and using AI, it'll have this, it'll be able to give you a prediction model where you can go in and you can, you can edit different parameters and you can see what impact that's going to have on fragmentation. So you can go in there and you can see, uh, Hey, if I, you know, adjust my burden and spacing to, uh, to bring them in, uh, you know, a half a meter in each way, what, what effect is that going to have on my fragmentation? Uh, how much is that going to reduce, you know, boulders that are greater than, you know, 700 millimeters or something like that. You can also look at things like, what if I change explosive products? What if I switch from emulsion to ANFA? What's, what's the likely impact of that on my fragmentation? So because you've, uh, if you keep measuring, uh, fragmentation over time, it then allows you to start to make better decisions around how you do blasting on site.